The people are marching across the bridge. This is the night before the election. The people are mad. They have a just cause. This is their home and their community against corporate greed that has taken over the world and this country. This is Sam Phillips. People are walking across the bridge, marching against the bogus blight and a corrupt government that doesn't care about the people. They care more about the bottom line. The people are getting support by the motorist that believes that a man's home is his right. Just because you got something and you worked hard for it don't mean that no one else has the right. Um, crossing the street right now, the bridge. Power to the people. Be careful! <laughs> well, the batteries are going out, but the spirit is running high. Tomorrow will be the election, but I believe it will go in the court of law and the court of public opinion. This is not over yet. This is Sam Phillips reporting from Lakewood. This program is brought to you by Blight Beer. If you can't get rid of the blight, drink blight and all your blight problems will go away. Blight will be available at fine stores near you. Blight Beer, a proud sponsor of this program. This is the day that people are voting about bogus blight. Will the vote be counted or will it be just like the Bush election, rigged? We will never know. But watch out for the chads. And please have a recount and a recount and a recount. Sam Phillips reporting from Lakewood. This is a crack in one of the sidewalks in Lakewood. Right down the middle, just like the Lakewood people are. Split right down the middle, just like this crack. Is this crack blighted? Stay tuned to see who's gonna win the vote today. Hi, this is Sam Phillips uh, reporting on election day uh, about the issue about the blight. Uh, sir, what do you think about uh, the issue about the blight here in Lakewood? Well, all I know is that for sure is uh, caused an extremely high turnout of voters so far 
and uh, I think it'll be interesting in the way the turnout uh, happens, and it's a uh, high turnout means it's uh, favorable for those who are opposed to issue 47. Um, how do you think, um, do you, this might be an upset today? Uh, it depends on whose side you are as to whether or not it's an upset. Right, I, because I, I've been going around Lakewood and it seems like a lot of people are really emotional against this uh, issue about taking somebody's home away from them, and it seems like it's a national problem. What do you think about that? I think that that's the uh, core of the issue, uh, whether or not uh, people feel that eminent domain is being used in the proper manner, and this is just one vote uh, which will help determine that. There's another vote coming up in March, and it'll just be interesting to see exactly where uh, people stand on the issue. Um, um, the Congress just passed uh, $87 billion to go to Iraq, and it seems like all of our communities like Cleveland, Lakewood, and California, everybody's in debt. Uh, do you think that money should have been well spent here uh, to help build up America and our communities? That's always a particular option, but here in Lakewood, uh, with uh, Councilman Tom George's Finance Committee Chairman, we're doing quite well in terms of not being in debt, and he's seen to that for the last 12 years as Chairman of the Finance Committee. But it's always one of those questions that a national legislator has to face as to the priorities of spending. Okay, uh, if uh, Mr. George uh, becomes mayor, what is his um, stance on this blight issue? Well, he has voted for it in council. However, if it is voted down, he's going to have a very difficult job in terms of untangling the mess that has been made. And as I said, uh, there's another issue that's coming up in March that's going to be voted on. Uh, this is something that's uh, not going to be an easy thing for uh, Tom if he's elected the next mayor and he's just going to have to work hard to see that it's something that's acceptable to the people in the neighborhood. Well, thank you very much. This is Sam Phillips uh, vo um, out on Election Day. Th Hi, this is Sam Phillips uh, reporting about Bogus Blight in Lakewood. Sir, what do you think about uh, the Bogus Blight issue here in Lakewood? Well, it certainly is bogus. There's no way that our neighborhoods are blighted. The blight designation, according to the city charter, refers to areas that uh, have high rates of juvenile delinquency that promote infant mortality, uh, that in general are detrimental to the health, welfare, and morals of the community. And that in no way describes any part of Lakewood as far as I'm concerned. And it certainly doesn't apply to the area where I live or where my neighbors live. Uh, have you uh, noticed a big turnout in voters today? Uh, this is my first time being at this polling place. It's not where I normally vote. It was very heavy turnout, it seemed to me, for the first uh, couple of hours. Now probably uh, most people are at work and uh, we'll see it get heavy again around noon, I'd expect. Uh, do you live in one of the uh, blighted areas, uh, so-called blighted areas? Yes, I'm on Sloan Avenue. I've got uh, some pictures of my house at different uh, times of the year here. Oh, what a beautiful and uh, it's, uh, they only, the city only blighted the one side of Sloan Avenue. Uh, most of Sloan Avenue is rental property, a lot of duplexes. The side along the river where I live is single family homes plus an apartment building. And that's all they blighted because that's all the developers interested in. That's another reason it's bogus. Uh, do you think the $87 billion that we gave to Iraq could be better used here uh, in America because uh, Cleveland's broke, California's broke, and that money could help communities like this that we don't have to be held hostage by a bunch of developers? Oh, absolutely. I, I agree that that regional and national development priorities have helped to create the problem that Lakewood and other inner city, inner ring suburbs have, but that doesn't mean you know, two wrongs, or yeah, two wrongs don't make a right. You can't say you're going to solve the problem by doing more of the same, or the attitude that, uh, like Ned Hill has said, he hopes that the shops at West End puts uh, the promenade or Crocker Park in Westlake out of business. Well, that's baloney. If this is a regional problem, then we need regional thinking to solve it, not that kind of petty, uh, my shopping mall is better than your shopping mall stuff. Well, thank you very much. This is Sam Phillips um, reporting about the bogus blight here in Lakewood on voting day. Thank you. The machines are getting ready. Just waiting if the vote goes one way or the other. Oh, I've been blighted. I need some blight off. <laughs> Let me go on and see if they can smell any of it. I've been blighted. I need some blight off. Oh, the blood is not a good thing to have. <laughs> Ma'am, do you see any blood off here? I'm looking for some blood off. No, I'm sorry, we don't. 
Oh, you ran out? Yes. Yeah, but that blast has been going around a lot in Lakewood. We ran out yesterday. Well, thank you, ma'am. Maybe a, you know another place that might sell it? No, I don't. All right. I don't want you to catch blast. <laughs> Blade Off, a proud sponsor of this program. Blade Off, just spray it on and wipe the blade away. Blade Off, a proud sponsor of this program. Uh, this is Sam Phillips, this is breaking news. Uh, I just ran into this man, and I don't know what's going on with the water, the air. Uh, you know, uh, sir, why do you have this chemical suit on? Well, you know, I mean, it's not safe to walk around the streets today. You know, the pollution in the air, pollution in the water. Hi, this is Sam Phillips reporting about um, blight in Lakewood. This is voting day. Sir, what do you think about the blight issue here in Lakewood? I think that for Lakewood and the future of Lakewood that the West End Development Project is something that is necessary to better our community and I'm a supporter of it. As for the homes being blighted, you know, that's, a, that's an iffy topic. Um, there's a lot of empty homes in Lakewood, a lot of vacancies in rentals, and I think for the community to bring revenue into the community, that it's a great idea. Uh, what do you think about the $87 billion that we just gave to Iraq? Uh, do you think we could um, have that money here to help uh, communities like Lakewood, Parma, uh, Cleveland, California? It seems like everybody's broke and have the same issue. Uh, and here we're going to give all this money to Iraq alone, not even alone, it's a grant. Uh, what do you think about that, sir? Well, we went into Iraq and made a bit of a mess, so I think that we should at least take some responsibility and help them out. Uh, what do you think about um, communities have to suffer because we have a lot of problems here in America? And, you know, do we really have the money to be given another country uh, like Iraq? They have oil and, and et cetera. What do you think about that? Well, I, like I said, we, we have gone in there and devastated their society. You, I am not even going to get on the topic of why we went in there. It's a whole other story, but since we are, have been in there and they are in need, I think that I am a supporter of us going in there and helping them. Okay, uh, what do you think about, you know, do you think we're going to win this war or do you think it's going to be like another Vietnam? I think it's going to be another Vietnam. Thank you very much. This is Sam Phillips reporting voting day about blight in Lakewood. Thank you. I'm Clark Unger. I live on Sloan Avenue in Lakewood. I've been there for 44 years. It was my parents' home for the last nine years. It's been mine. It's right on the river. It has a very nice wooded backyard and slope down to the water. Uh, a lot of wildlife in the area, 200-year-old sycamore tree in the backyard. It's beautiful, and in no way is it blighted. In no way is any part of Lakewood blighted. Hi, this is Sam Phillips uh, talking about blight here in Lakewood. Ma'am, what do you think about the blight issue? Um, I think it's, uh, it should pass. The blight should be, um, we need to keep the tax dollars in Lakewood. We need the people shopping in Lakewood. Everybody's running to Rocky River and Westlake and spending their money. We need to keep the money here in Lakewood. Uh, what do you think about the homeowners that uh, might have to get uh, kicked out of, their <laughs> out of their houses? That's progress. I mean, that's how highways are made. People move their homes so the highways can come through. I mean, it happens every day, everywhere. Uh, what, do you think, <laughs> what do you think about the 87 billion that Bush just gave the Iraqis? Is this a joke? 